guys. So first, before we get started with lesson three, and which is using a subtraction symbol, we're gonna go over some of our vocab again. So ready? Let's start with subtract, say subtraction. Subtraction. Now what does subtraction mean? I want you to think, what does subtraction mean? What would you do if you needed to subtract? Think in your head. I want you to tell somebody at home what you think subtraction is. Subtraction, subtraction. So, very good. Subtraction means you take it away. Take it away. Ready? Subtraction. Take it away. So do that with your hand. Ready? Subtraction. Take it away. Very good. Awesome. So now think about what is the answer to a subtraction problem? What do we call that? What do we call it? The answer to a subtraction problem. When it's an addition problem, we call it the sum. So it starts with a D. Think about that. D the difference. Very good. The difference. Excellent job, guys. The difference. So when you have a difference, that is what you call the answer to a subtraction problem. The answer to a subtraction problem. Very good. Now, when we were doing some of our other like addition problems, we called an equation something. We called it something. I want you to think, what do you call an equation? What's another word? For equi what's a synonym for equation? What's a synonym for equation? What, what else could I call it? I could call it what? A number sentence. Very good. A number sentence. So I'm going to give you a chance. Pause the video if you can. I want you to write these things. I don't want you to write the whole thing. I just want you to write subtraction. I want you to write difference. And I want you to write equation. Very good. Excellent. So let's go ahead and draw a picture. So how do I know when I have to subtract something? What would I use? What would I use? What kind of symbol would I use to tell me that I need to take it away? So ready? Let's draw it. It's going to be a minus symbol, just like this. See? It goes straight across, just like that. Minus. Just like this. Minus. Okay? Then the difference, so if I have three minus three equals, so now I'm using that equal sign again. See that, that equal sign? The difference, three minus three, what's the difference? The difference is zero. I'm gonna underline that zero because that's an example of a difference. Yeah, the answer to a subtraction problem, very good. So now I could actually use this same example, but I'm not going to, I'm gonna use a different one. So I'm gonna say that Miss Higgins had eight Little girls that love to play dolls. So then four other little girls wanted to come over, but they said, wait a minute, why don't you come to me? So each of them got one friend. So four friends went over to play in the other group. So eight, then four went away, minus, so what's the difference? I want you to think, if there were eight friends and four of them went to play with other groups, what happened? What? Who is left? Who would be left? How many? So think about that. Use your fingers if you need to. It's okay to draw a picture too. Okay, so ready? What's the difference? Very good, four is the difference. Excellent job, four. Good, so ready? Today, I'm going to use Play-Doh in order to make a subtraction symbol. So parents, go ahead and look on YouTube for really good Play-Doh recipes that are so easy and you don't even have to make a whole batch. You can just make a little bit for your kids. That way you're not making a mess or anything. I know sometimes that kind of turns parents off when it makes a mess, but this, I promise, will not make a mess at all. It's actually going to be very, very nice. So hopefully I can get this to, to kind of show. Let me see if I can pop this up here. Let's see. Hopefully I can. Does that work? 
it's showing my board? Yep, it sure is. Very good. So first I'm going to take a real thin one. I'm just going to take a little piece. See that? I'm going to roll it between my hands. So it's okay for your student to be able to manipulate it. If they need some help, that's okay. They can make big ones, little ones. Have them go ahead and make about five of different sizes. So you're just making a subtraction symbol. So look at this, guys. I made a subtraction symbol. So I want you to think about in real life, like what are some things that kind of look like a subtraction symbol? So it, I could compare it to maybe a worm if the worm was straight. I could compare it to a pen. See that? Very nice. So ready? I'm going to make five. This one I'm going to make a kind of a little bit thinner. I want a, I want a little teeny tiny baby one. This is going to be like a baby Kara one. It'll be really cute. So see, this is also one. See like that? So here's another one. And then I'm going to make another kind of medium size. I'm going to make this one a little bit fatter. Yeah, because it's still the same thing. I just want it to look a little bit different than the others. This one's going to be a little fatter. See that? These are all subtraction symbols. All of these are subtraction symbols. So when you use a subtraction symbol, you're going to put that subtraction symbol in between the subtrahens, the subtrahens, to find your difference. See that? So I'm going to go ahead and stop there. Now I'm going to use this one in order to manipulate. And I'm going to use my cubes here, and I'm going to make an equation using these cubes and my subtraction symbol. So I'm going to start out with 2 minus, how many could I take away? How many do you think I should take away? Should I take away 1? Should I take away 2? Let's see. So I'm actually also going to go into the next lesson as well and make a minus and an equal sign. So here's my equation. I'm going to take away just one. So I'm going to move this over just a little bit. So go ahead and do this on your paper at home or do this with your, uh, manip excuse me, your manipulatives. See that? So now I want you to think about how I could solve this. So I have two, right? Minus, see that? See, it says minus. So this right here, this is your subtraction problem. Sub... Sorry, I'm trying to write upside down. Traction symbol. Here we go. Symbol. Sorry, I hope you can read my writing. Subtraction symbol. This right, whoop, this right here is your subtraction symbol. See? Very nice. So now what's this one called, guys? What's this? This is your what? Oop, no, up the other way. Down. So this one is going to be your equal. Very good. Equal sign. Equal sign. Awesome. So here's our problem. We have, let's do it with numbers. Ready? We have two, and sorry, I'm trying to write upside down so it doesn't look very nice. Two minus, how many? How many is this one? Very good. One. Then you have the equal sign. And what's your difference, guys? What's going to be your difference? Let's put it over here. So let's do it. Let's do it with our hands. So here's two, and I take away one. How many are left? <gasps> Good job, one, awesome, good job guys, very nice. So see, we're just gonna practice using our subtraction symbol in order to, to do other things with to, for other equations. So on your paper here, and we're gonna go back to just looking at Miss Higgins, very good. So on your paper, I'm gonna say a couple problems that are from your front paper. So you are going to be on page 397. It's gonna look just like this. I'm going to read it, and you get your pencil ready. You can do this one, and then you can play with your Play-Doh. Ready? Six children are playing. So i got to start with six. That's what I have to start with. Sure enough, I need to start with six. So I'm going to write six, just like they have it on here. I'm going to write six, okay? Now, six children are playing. Trace the minus sign. So you're going to trace that minus sign. It's just going to go straight across, just like a line, just straight across like that. See that? Just like we made with the Play-Doh. Now, four children have to go home. So I had six, ready? Let's do a dice model here. I have six, then four of them went home. So I'm gonna take away minus four, see? So another dice model, I'm gonna make another dice model here. Now I'm not finished, in order for it to be a complete number sense, has to have equals, okay, so equals, and then my difference. So I have six, I'm going to take away four. See that? Take away. The reason I know that I'm going to take it away is because not only did they go, that word go told me that they need to leave, but also that there's a symbol, the subtraction symbol. See that? 
very good. But also, more importantly to note, when you have an equation that you are listening to, a word problem, listen for those key words that tell you what to do in the equation. So if it says that they went home, that means that they left. They went away. So how many are going to be left? So I had six, and I took away four. So let's see. I got six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So now I'm gonna take away four. Whoop, go home, see ya. How many are left, guys? Very good, two, awesome. Your difference is going to be two. So go ahead and practice that at home. I want you to practice making equations or number sentences where you are going to use your subtraction symbol. See that? And you can make your subtraction symbol. See, I'm gonna make another one out of this, see? I can put it together and I can make a subtraction symbol. It doesn't have to be three. I can just pretend that this is a subtraction symbol. I can also do it with my finger, see, just like that. So find different ways that you can represent a subtraction symbol. Try it at home and let me know, okay?